I go to school at Hogwarts, and I spend all my summers in Narnia. I escape the maze, and I was the 82nd victor of the Hunger Games. Okay, maybe that one's a little exaggerated. I'm not that heroic. You don't believe me? It's true. Where did I get the tickets? How did I get there? Well, I found a book. All the stories are true. All the books, all the fantasies, they're all true. Maybe not in this universe, but somewhere, or perhaps in the back of my mind. Every book is a doorway, a door that leads me to someplace new. When I fall into this ocean of words, I forget who I am. I forget that this place even exists. I'm somewhere else and someone new. When Harry Potter went through his journey of loss and friendship, I found a new side to myself. Even though I'm yet to lose someone of my own, the loss of Fred Weasley hurt as much as the loss of a loved one would. A part of me faded away. Books taught me that loss breaks you down, but friendship builds you back up. I was there standing in the flames of the war when Julian had to watch his own father die to protect his younger siblings, and Clary watched the only good left in her brother disappear. I was standing in the shadows of the flames. I was right next to them. Books made me strong, but I would like to rephrase that statement. Books taught me how to be strong, and they can teach you too. Watching friendships like the one of Will and James bloom and live beyond death, a bond that could be seen alive generations later. Friendship never dies. Reading takes you on an unimaginable journey, a roller coaster that never ends. Every twist, every turn, and every drop leaves you with heartache, joy, adrenaline, and a story for life. When Harry met Severus Snape for the first time, the connection was dead. All we could see is utter hate. It's like when you meet someone for the first time and you just know that you are not going to get along. <laughs> he sees new shades and layers of Snape's life. And in the end, when everything is supposed to be uncovered, he ends up discovering even more. We see people all the time, but all we see is the first few sheets. We never truly know each other. We try and uncover each other's layers, find out who we truly are. And when we think we know someone, there's a mask hidden underneath. When I see people, I see different shades and layers. And discovering them is so much easier after unraveling the lives of the thousands of characters in the stories that I read. People are like the ocean. They go deeper and deeper, and no one truly knows what lies underneath. But that doesn't stop us from searching. In the beginning, Severus Snape was a grumpy old teacher. But in the end, he was probably the bravest man that Harry had ever met. At least we get to meet and see other people Imagine living a life where you are not allowed to escape. You can see the world, but never go there. Being trapped in a bubble. Maddie was lied to her entire life about having a disease and never left her house. She never went to school in a community, went and played outside with friends, or traveled to all those bizarre locations on her bucket list. But the thing was, she had an enormous collection of books, which always made me jealous. And when she would want to leave, she would read, and that kept her going. The book opens with the line, I've read many more books than you. It doesn't matter how many you've read. I've read more. Believe me, I've had the time. And every time I read this, I laugh. The first thing that comes in my head is, of course I've read many more books than you. Reading ensures us that even if we are alone, we're not lonely. How many of you remember seeing the ocean for the first time? For some of us, it's an incredible memory, but some of us can't even remember. But when Maddie left her house, 
saw the beach and swam in the waves. The ocean between the words took me there. I could feel the joy that she felt. Some books are long, some books are boring. Some books give you wings and others make you want to jump in a well. I agree, I've been there. But books are so much more. Discovering something new and falling into a place you would never dream to be. Going on an unexpected journey. I fell down a rabbit hole, down and deeper, just like Alice. And now I can't get out of it. I saw this whole new side of books. It's like being teleported to someplace new. A book is like a television set that plugs into your mind, but it's much more entertaining. And the best part is, there are no commercials. <laughs> Ever since I wandered down this lane of books, my worldview changed almost instantly. I don't remember myself or how I saw the world before I fell down this rabbit hole. I can confidently say that reading elevated my understanding of people, friends, circumstances, situations, and our community in general. I became a different person. Standing back and seeing how friendships form and seeing how people change, I find it so much easier to feel what others feel. Every story, every character, every life, and every death. Everything from this world became a part of mine. What I see, what I think, and what I do, all was changed when I found this world. I found myself. So, when I was eight years old, I didn't really find a closet to Narnia. When I turned 11, my Hogwarts letter arrived late. <laughs> when I turned 12, a satyr didn't come take me to Camp Half-Blood. When I turned 17, people better come tell me that I'm a shadow hunter. <laughs> or at least, when I'm 50, Gandalf is on time for a surprise adventure. I'm not saying you should drop everything and fall in love with reading. What do you like to do? Do you like to play video games? Then read a book about it. Do you like to travel? Then read about a new journey. You never know what might surprise you. Like J.K. Rowling says, if you don't like to read, you haven't really found the right book. Thank you. Woo!